Welcome back to the Platinum Head Game Channel everyone. So in order to get Johnny's Porsche, there are a couple of requirements that need to be taken into account. And the first one is completing the side mission called Tapeworm, which basically comes after completing the Play It Safe mission. You are basically just trying to follow Rogue's storyline and all the side quests. Once you complete the Tapeworm mission, you're going to want to do the Chipping In mission. This is the really important mission that will get you Johnny Silverhand's car. So if you notice, this is the mission I'm playing in the background. The key thing in this mission is to make sure you retrieve the access key that Grayson has in his body. Oh I'll show you how. Not yours, I don't think. So once you Grayson. make it to this point in the mission where you're confronting Grayson, it actually doesn't matter what dialogue choices you choose. If you spare his life, he gives you the access key to Johnny's Porsche, but you can still get it even after you kill him. And the way to get that access key when you kill him is simply looting his corpse after you end his life and you'll be able to see the access key and just retrieve it from his body. No, no, wait. I got something. Silverhand. You're into him, right? Could give you something. Don't want a damn thing from you. Good. One Dixburg less. Okay, so as I just mentioned, all we have to do from here is simply go up to his body and loot everything he's got. You should see the key there, the access card that we need to get Johnny's car. So now that we have the access key, the next thing we need to do is actually go find the porch, which is actually a few feet away from where we're at currently. So once the chipping in mission is fully completed, we'll be coming back to this exact location to find Johnny Silverhand's porch. Okay, so to get to the exact location of Johnny's porch, we're going to have to go all the way up north specifically to the Watson north side of town. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure that you fast travel to a location called Ibunik Docks. So again, just fast travel to the location called Ibunik Docks as shown here on my screen. Okay, so once you arrive there, just go ahead and follow my lead step by step. You're essentially trying to get to the exact same location where you confronted Grayson. I went ahead and dropped a reference point to help me out. Feel free to do this too if you think this will be helpful, but it is not required. Okay, so from here, just go ahead and follow the reference point if you dropped it. If not, just go ahead and walk wherever I'm walking towards. Again, we're just trying to get to the building where we confronted Grayson. So the objective here is to basically just get the higher ground, meaning we're going to have to jump into the Talus building we have here to jump across into the boat looking building where we confronted Grayson, this boat looking building, which I just missed. Keep in mind that I do have some reinforced tendons as legs and cyberware, but you do not need these at all. So it may be easier for me to get across, but again, you don't need this at all to get across to the boat looking building. So that boat is our destination. So make sure you just jump across and I already see a set of stairs that we can use to get up to the top. So once you reach the boat, turn over to the right and essentially we're gonna do the same thing here. We are going to try and get the higher ground so that we can locate the box that will bring down the garage that contains Johnny's Porsche. So we want to make sure we go all the way to the left of the boat and get the higher ground from the left side of the boat. That way we can get a bird's eye view of the access box that can bring down Johnny's shipping container which contains a portion in it. So once you're in the same exact spot I am, turn over to the right and there it is. You'll see the access box which will bring down the shipping container that contains Johnny's Porsche. So hop over to that box and simply click turn on. It should bring down that shipping container. This shipping container is where Johnny's Porsche is located. So once the shipping container makes it to the floor, simply go down to the ground and open the container with the access card you took from Grayson. Oh fuck, think I know what it is. Let's see what we got here.
Take that rag off. Okay. My ride. Hop in. I'll even let you drive. And there you have it everyone, how to get Johnny Silverhand's 911 Porsche. This is a nice looking car and this is real. You do get to keep this in your inventory even after you get off the car. Like it's a permanent car that you get to keep for yourself. It's not just a one time thing. So you can call the car from your inventory like you do with Delamain or Jackie's bike or any other free car that you get in this game. So do enjoy, I hope you like what you see and if you did, please feel free to subscribe and give this video a like. Be sure to hang out till the end of the video if you want to see more guides for free supercars. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you for watching and until next time, folks. Okay.